first. Uh, the attributes of the sound. But 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 the frequency content and magnitude content of the sound is most two important parameters that really characterize the property of a sound. Right? That's what we learn. Right LP, that is 10 log 10 mean square average compared to reference sound pressure, and uh, the unit is decibel. Okay, and our, we we also recognize that our ear. Our auditory system in general is very sensitive to the frequency as illustrated in this picture. Okay. Okay, in this picture what we can see is this is a frequency, okay, octave band, 63, 125, 125, 500, 1 kilohertz. Okay, this is the uh, threshold of hearing. Okay. So when you look at the uh, the graph at two kilohertz, that is zero sound pressure level. That corresponds to minimum sensation we can have. We, the, the ear have at 2 kilohertz. That defines the phone. Okay, this is 10 phone means at 2 kilohertz, at 2 kilohertz around, or one, uh, yeah, 1 kilohertz, I feel 10 decibel. That is 10. And 1 kilohertz, I feel 20 decibel. The phone is defined for the single frequency, okay? But certainly, certainly demonstrate the our auditory system's sensation on frequency, with respect to frequency. As, as you can see in this graph, our sensation, our auditory system is very sensitive with respect to frequency. Very sensitive over this area, not very sensitive over this area. Generally, low frequencies sensitivity is is lower than high frequency sensitivity. It's a little bit confusing at this graph because uh, less sensitive, but you have bigger SPL over here, right? At low frequency. It's because, for example, at 125 hertz, 10 phone means if you want to feel 10 phone sensation, you need to be excited by, for example, 25 decibel, right? But at 1 kilohertz, you only need 10 decibel, okay? And this is a measure of a sound pressure magnitude, and that is mean square average of sound pressure that is defined
like this. T is the measurement time. Okay. I am measuring P square, some pressure square, along time scale. For example, if PT look like this, I am taking this time record for the time capital T integrate with respect to time and then divide by capital T to take a mean. That's why we call this mean square average. Okay? Okay, suppose I have many tones, many, many tones, in other words, I have a <whistles> at the same time. And what is this then? What is this then? Okay. And note that we can write PT, that is the pressure, fluctuating pressure in time. And if we use the complex notation, complex notation, that I can write this is a real part, or if you like imaginary part, if that's your choice. Real part of P Okay? That's what I can write. Then you may write P square T is what? What is it? Real part of Is it correct? It is not correct because this is a linear operator, and the squaring things is not linear operator, so you have to be very careful. Right? So instead of making this kind of error, as I used in the text, okay, when I have complex variable that has real part and imaginary part and say this is a PT P hat I'm sorry exponential minus J omega T the real part of this can be P hat exponential minus J omega T plus this one. Okay, that is conjugate of this complex. So that is P hat conjugate exponential J omega T and then I have to divide by 2. Okay, that is correct. Because I'm not using real part operator over here, I can square it. No problem. Right? 